Good morning, family. Welcome back to Healing to Go to Row. It's currently 4.51 a.m. with today's date, um, December 29th on a Thursday. All right, so I was just in the mood to do some reading, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm getting the energy of it's like, I'm hearing that song, Say What You Need to Say. Say what you need to say. So it's like either you, it's like something's on your mind, it's like a burning thought. You want to say something to someone that there's a need to speak up about something. This could be something that you've been thinking about for a while. Okay, I feel like you need to get this off your chest in order to find peace in something. Okay, I'm hearing a clean slate. Yeah, you got peace and happiness. All right. I also feel like closure. I'm hearing something about closure. If this isn't you, this is definitely someone in your energy. <clears throat> I see you being more grateful and being in the energy of forgiveness at this time. You could just be reflecting back on a lot of things that you've did. A lot of things that you feel like you could have did better. A lot of things that you've accomplished as well. Also giving yourself the credit. So it's almost like letting loose. And I'm hearing something about a clean house. Oh yeah, I do got channel messages for y'all too. And I'm up here channeling. You got death. It did kind of come in reverse. So for some of you, you guys are fighting this transformation. For others of you, you taking it. Like you taking the bullets. You taking the, the hard blows. I know I keep saying I'm going to do that reading regarding parental dynamics, but I'm kind of getting, trying to get everything together. Don't know if I want to break it down into two parts because it's a lot to talk about. Um, where are the channel messages? Okay. So the channel messages that I have for you guys read an open mind. Okay, it reads relax, it reads seeking peace. So pretty much everything I was talking about. I don't know why this keep coming up. You could be trying to mold something and mold someone into a certain way, but you kind of just gotta let this person go. This could also be your child. People gotta learn their own lessons, you know what I'm saying? You're learning that, you learn to kind of just let go. Um, not trying to control the outcome of everything that this person or um someone does this because i'm definitely picking up the energy of a child and children okay this could also be the energy that you've been in as a child like your parents wanted to kind of control everything you had going on so it's bleeding into your own parental style and stuff like that i definitely need to talk about that and i keep being called to so i feel like i am gonna do that today all right, so you have realizing that you knew the truth all along. This could be pertaining to anything. And keep in mind, I'm reading for a collective, so say the energy that resonates. If it's not your story, it's just not for you, okay? I have following your inner guidance. I have voice, vocal cords, voice box. Your voice could definitely be very significant. Or something about the power in your voice, the way you speak, the way you carry yourself. <clears throat> Oh, also getting surgery as well. So you could have had surgery or something about going mute or having to be quiet. Or spirit could be telling you to be quiet about something here. Hush. Shh. Then I got Bloody Mary. I instantly thought about a cycle or a period. That could, this could also be like the movie Bloody Mary. Like, oh, y'all remember that? I think it was a movie, I think. And they used to tell you Bloody Mary 1 blood and marriage too so it's like tapping into the dark side okay somebody here could definitely be tapping more into the dark side you could also have be someone that's interested in like dark humor or something about the darkness i'm here embracing the darkness i'm also getting like t um shadow work okay and know that in order for you to be balanced you have to embrace both sides of yourself i'm not saying be evil or do evil shit what I am saying is you have to have you have to have um a balance between your yin and your yang. Right. Surrendering fear, acceptance. Okay, so you got the death card. It 
like I said earlier, it came my oh wait, oh, my bad, y'all. We're gonna focus on each other, miss, because I gotta get these out of the way. I'll be trying to do too many things at once, so that could be an energy that you're in. Okay, I was getting the name Mary, Marilyn, Lynn, Linda, um, Laura, Caroline, KK, Casey, Karen, Kareem, a Carmen. Then I was getting the energy of karma, so karmic justice. Something about the the letter K could also be very significant. K or C or Casey, like I said earlier. Um, <clears throat> I'm hearing damnation. <clears throat> you could definitely be someone that reads the Bible. There's a need to. You have discipline here. This could be like spiritual discipline and getting back in touch. All right, yep. Balance came out. So you could be in the energy of feeling guilty about something, or someone is trying to make you feel guilty, guilt trip, trip, guilt, guilt trip you. Okay, my nose is itchy. So somebody could be in your business, or the energy of somebody just being nosy all up in your business. This could also be the energy you're in all up in somebody else's business, or this could be like a job you have where you have to be in people's business, like a legal job, legal work. All right, then I have, you could be <clears throat> dealing with um, a Gemini Aquarius. I got double Aquarius here. Then I'm here in North Node and South Node. I got Virgo, Taurus, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces. Or you could be one of these in, um, signs, or you could also need to implement this energy, the energy of these signs to bring some sort of balance in your life. Aquarius is definitely highlighted, definitely here. Oh, yeah, we also in the energy of Aquarius. Um, I'm here in collective, but we're in the age of Aquarius. Okay, they also talk about technology, all right? I'm hearing something about technology or tech. I have stellium here then you could also know someone or be dealing with someone or your name could be Stella. I have Discord. I believe that's an app or something that people go on. Then I have chocolate chip cookies um, and movies. Then I got movie night. So you could love chocolate chip cookies or watching a movie, eating cookies and popcorn. Y'all having a little movie night or whatever, family night. I have focused on happiness. I have grab a drink, so you could definitely be just enjoying the times right now, enjoying the holidays, um, getting more tapped into family dynamics, and whether this be good or bad, you could be figuring some things out, getting to know people, getting to know people on a different level. This could be family, friends, coworkers, doesn't matter. Also, getting to know yourself on a different level. I have cussing someone out, okay, and then I got touch love i don't even know why i wrote touch I ain't gonna need cap i meant the right tough so that could definitely be very significant like you could be learning that to tell you the truth whooping your kids is a slave mentality you don't like it oh well it's just the truth because what the slaves did was when you got out of line they beat you in line and that's exactly what you do to your child when a child is misbehaving and you beat them you basically telling them that i will abuse you and force you into doing what i say instead of allowing them to learn lessons we we learn lessons from the time we get here to the time we leave and children have, a, have to learn a lot because they don't know anything just like your mama done told you to don't touch that iron, don't touch that stove, don't do this, don't do that. And you had to do it because you was curious as to why she told you not to. And that happens when we're adults as well. Inner guidance. You could be getting inner guidance, spirit telling you not to do something, you do it anyways. Or you could just be getting advice from someone before you're about to do some stupid shit and you do it anyways. And you reap the repercussions of whatever that is, whether it's good or bad. Okay, so I have, um, I meant to put tough love. It's a way you can love, and it's so funny because I just watched a movie and I heard in, in this movie in one of those lines that love is supposed to be tough. It definitely don't supposed to be abusive, but I do believe that sometimes you have to say no and put your feet down. And I just feel like that's boundaries. It ain't necessarily about being tough. It's about setting boundaries, even with your kids, even with yourself, with your kids. You see what I'm saying? 
setting boundaries around what you're willing and, and what you're not willing to take. If they want to call that stuff up, oh well. But but you just even setting boundaries for yourself with your children is going to teach your children how to set healthy boundaries for themselves with other people. Remember, your children do what you do. They don't do what you say do. It, it says starting early. Okay, so you could have had... Um, I'm hearing a, a rough, really rough childhood. And I just feel like you started like adulthood earlier. You had to walk into adulthood. I'm hearing adultism. I don't even know that that's a word. Also hearing autism. So you could have had an autistic sibling that you had to take care of. Or I don't know. This could be like an aunt or an uncle or something like that. Or a brother. Yeah, I said sibling. You got adversity here. I accept the challenges that are the best way. They are the best way to learn. Okay, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Okay, so following inner guidance is definitely significant, is definitely important. Balance is definitely important as well. Okay, then I got stages, levels, new levels, new le new levels, new devils. So you could be doing something in stages, in levels, taking your time or spirit is asking you to be patient with something, patient with yourself as well. But just know as you elevate, there are going to be new challenges because you're you're on a new level of wisdom. You're on a new level of knowing. I got the early bird gets the worm here. I have peace. I think I started out with peace, seeking peace, and you end with peace. So ultimately, you're just looking for peace here. And then at the last minute, after I was done channeling, and I had them channel for a whole nother reading, <clears throat> I was getting hologram or holograph. So something about um, things being shown in 3D or they feel realistic or something about like, I'm seeing like a computer with lines and graphs. I'm, I'm definitely getting the energy of technology. I did just see the food card. The food card do talk about technology. Okay, so that's it for the channel messages. Hopefully, you guys got something out of that. Don't forget to like the video. If it helps you, subscribe to the channel if you feel called to. And we're finna get into this reading. I'm actually kind of excited. I got divine guidance. Yeah, being being led to walk away, put down something, let go of something. This could be pertaining your childhood. Okay. Definitely, I saw the page of swords. Because like I said earlier, a lot of things you learned was because you watched your parents do it. It ain't had nothing to do with what they told you. Now, I'm not saying that parents can't tell you something and you remember and it instills something in your brain and it helps you move forward in one way or another in your life. I'm not saying that's not possible. But what I am saying is that your kids, they watch what you do. You ain't never, you ain't never heard no... Like, you know how many times like, I don't see, even on the internet, where kids tell their parents, like, you told me to do this and you told me to do that, but when I tell you to do it, you don't do it. So it's almost like two mutual respect between you and your kids or something about the mutual respect that was, it was like a disconnect between you and your parents because it's something they didn't quite understand. Like, I ain't gonna lie, older people, they always feel like, you know, they right. Some no offense to my older people because if you if you watching my channel, you're you're accepting to learning. That's a fact. And I really appreciate you guys and I love you guys for that. You know what I'm saying? Because some people in general, to tell you the truth, just don't like for nobody to tell them the truth. They don't like to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the truth, especially if you're younger than them. They feel like you don't know as much as they know because they've been here longer. But that ain't got nothing to do with your soul because it ain't no telling how many times I done reincarnated. I could teach you something because apparently, never mind, I stayed away from that. But we got death. I'm learning that. And these are merely new beginnings. Someone is being stubborn here. Look, these cards stuck. Okay, I feel like spirit is asking you. You, you could be stuck on something. I'm hearing stuck on stupid. Spirit is asking you to pop out with something. I'm hearing do it alone. Okay, you got fear in reverse. So that just lets me know that for some of you, you're definitely walking out in this energy of being scared. And you are going to 
um, go with what you feel. You got discipline here. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So I'm hearing sexual discipline. I'm hearing moderation. I'm also hearing doing things in threes or something about the number three. Furies, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. I'm also here being more accepting. You got balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Okay, that's pretty much self-explanatory, being less judgmental on yourself and others because you don't realize how judgmental you are on others until you realize how judgmental you are on yourself and then it start all making sense. You know, and I feel like that's definitely something big here because you got the self-esteem card. It says, I possess, I possess, I possess the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. I don't know why, but I was thinking about potty training here. So some of you guys could definitely be potty training y'all kids. You could also be trying to potty train your pet. Then you got grief. I understand that. I understand that losing something is an opportunity appreciated you started out with a death card i'm learning that endings are merely new beginnings and ended with grief which pretty much say the same thing so it's almost like not feeling bad like learning learning how to not feel bad for making choices that benefit you and your soul growth you see what i'm saying especially with the lover's card here the lover's card talk about choices i'm also hearing world when not world renowned so i'm hearing something about a big shift i'm also getting like a portal a, pro a portal something's opening up for you i feel like you're going to be attracting the right people i do see fame here success I do see somebody doing something online or doing something on stage or being the center of attention with something. And I feel like whatever this is you're doing, you're being called to be very vulnerable. Or you have to be very vulnerable for this to work. Okay, with this page of ones, this talk to speakers, actors, you know, preachers, inspirational um, speakers as well, athletes, performers, people who are doing something on center stage. It can also speak to good news and having courage. And I said something about having courage earlier. Okay, it also speaks to being optimistic. Um, it can also speak to a competition, but I'm hearing something about a friendly competition. Or it's almost like you competing with yourself. You see what I'm saying? Okay, balance is needed. Because I feel like that low-key came out in reverse. And it talks about karmic justice and karma. I, I mentioned karma in um, the channel messages. So it's almost like reaping the consequences of your actions, whether you have good actions or bad. Okay, this can also speak to legal disputes. With Next to the world card, I feel like there's going to be like a separation online. This could be a couple, like, this could be like a power couple or something like that. I feel like there was like an arranged marriage here. Two people who do something. Two people who do something. They do it on center stage. It's seen. You got the justice card here. I'm hearing karma. I'm hearing reaping your karma in front of everybody. All right. There could also be some sort of investigation here. If this is not famous, this could just be in your life. This could be like a couple that's very known in your community, in your setting. And something going down. I'm also getting the energy of a church, a preacher. Like I'm getting that energy. The first lady energy. And I'm getting like a divorce. If not a divorce, definitely the energy of like you performing and doing what you love is going to bring in some sort of love for you okay you can, you can read these cards two ways so take it how it resonates then you got the ace of swords so they talk about truth we had two swords so they talk about a decision a decision being made blind faith going with your going, using your inner guidance to make a decision Okay, so the two, the lover's card also talk about choices and decisions. The justice card also talk about choices and decisions. I'm also hearing something about a bright idea. Okay, success, achievement. I'm hearing something about intellectual property. I feel like somebody's trying to hide something. Or it's, it's like there's going to be a court date. 
I don't know why I, f- I feel like this court date is going to be like recorded or broadcast on TV or something like that. Or this is just like a if this is if this is small and like in your life and not like in the world like celebrity news or anything like that, this is definitely something big or or um it's like this is the big theme in your life right now. Take the energy how it resonates, but I feel like there is a decision that needs to be made because something is up in the air. You got three of cups. Something is up in the air. They raising a glass. I do see you celebrating something here. I do see whatever this is, you coming out on top. I feel like you made the right choices, even if you feel like you made the wrong choices. Like, like you making the wrong choice led you to the right decision or the right choice or it led you down the right street in order for you to grow. I'm hearing growth spurt as well. Then you got the king of swords. So we got three swords out here, head over heart. Usually the swords are down. When anytime you see swords going down in a reading, that means a decision needs to be made or the, no, a decision has been made. When they're up, a decision needs to be made. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you've definitely or you're definitely learning how to deal with head over heart situations because I'm not going to lie. This is reminding me of the three of swords, but it's all discombobulated. And usually an upright three of swords speaks to pain, betrayal, regret. But I got this heart here. It looked like it's being shaped upside down. I don't know why this reminded me of an upside down heart. And the swords are upright. Usually the heart is upright and the swords are downright. So it's very backwards. Which is good because that means you're no longer suffering pain. Paying attention to things that you regret and have grief about. The king of swords talk about structure and routine. The ace of swords and the king of swords talk about intellect. You know, making rational and logical decision. The King of Swords will also talk about power and authority, okay? Being discerning. That's why you got that discipline card with the, um... That's why you got that discipline card with the, um... What the men's oracle cards? And then it, and it also talk about an unemotional, analytical man. So this could be someone's father. You got the Page of Cups, which speaks to love and comfort, your intuition, I'm also hearing something about childhood dreams or a child, child, child. Someone here could also be going in business with their child. I'm hearing like a manager position or something like that. Or, or I'm also hearing child grooming. I'm also hearing something about an arranged marriage. It's almost like this child was born and their life was already prearranged. They don't really get to have no say so. I'm hearing also ego or control, control subject, test dummy. The page of cups could also speak to a psychic as well. Somebody could be getting, like, readings on you. I'm hearing also to tampering with evidence. There's definitely a, um... There's definitely some sort of investigation going down here. And I'm hearing the truth is coming out. The truth is coming out. This could be regarding some kids. This could definitely be on a global scale with the world card here. Literally, every card that's out here say yes. Literally. So I feel like I'm hearing the truth will set you free. I feel like you feel this justice coming in for you. Yeah, you literally got the cherry card in victory. You could have definitely been on the fence about something. But the, look, choice again. But there, there, there was something you were supposed to learn from this. Get some sort of balance out of this. Okay. You got two counterparts. You got the lover's card with two counterparts. The queen and king of swords talk about two people who could be very smart, okay? This could be a energy of a relationship that's built off more so business and what makes sense rather than feelings. 
but I feel like someone here, I feel like they lost a, their childhood. Like, someone here didn't really get to be a child. I really feel like I'm picking up on the industry, baby. Because with the page of wands to start out here, or this could just be, I'm hearing grooming. I don't know. I'm just picking up on the energy, the energy of, like, the industry. Being in the spotlight. I'm here and do what I say. I'm hearing something about say as you please. Then I got ten swords. There's definitely be about to be an ending here. Somebody could definitely be somebody could die. I'm sorry I, I have to say this, but you got transition and rest with ten swords. The ten yeah, with the tower card. This may come out of nowhere. This literally may happen out of nowhere. But the Ten of Swords talk about a death, endings, endings, transition, bad mouthing. Somebody here is afraid that something's going to come out. They were being divinely guided to walk away from chaos and destruction. But I don't think whoever this person is listened. Yeah, it's like they they chose their battles and they chose they chose to, to battle the wrong one or the wrong energy. But I feel like as far as you or whoever this energy is for is for, you're gonna come out on on success. It's just a matter of you being patient and moving based off of your your intellect and more so your logic and what you know is gonna happen. It's not second guessing that. Being honest with yourself, these cards speak a lot to honesty, truth, and justice. I got a lot of swords out here. I have four swords now that talk about rest. I'm also hearing something's going to put you up or something's being put up. I'm going to get one card. Something's more complicated than you thought or than you think. Or someone here made something more complicated than it had to be. Yeah, you got death, loss here. Breakup, poverty. Then you got rest and relax. So a release. A relief. Somebody here could have also had like... I'm hearing a, a, something about abortions or miscarriages or the loss of children. If not like losing them in pregnancy or something about pregnancy, them being taken away could be very significant. Something about also getting time off from your children. It could be like stressful. You got four and five. You got seven. So the six is missing, which talk about material gains. Then you got fairy tale, but it came in reverse. So believe the impossible. I feel like spirit is telling you that you should believe in the impossible. But life has done so much to you. It's like you could be suffering with that right now. You got two energies of Cancer and Gemini right here. You got Cancer, Aries, Aquarius, Pisces, Sagittarius. The world cards talk about all signs. Gemini, Libra. Air signs again with this Ace of Swords. Then a Gemini. I mean a Gemini. Aquarius. Oh, a Libra is the King of Swords. And Cancer energy again. But it's like, almost like, you could have had a very jaded way of seeing love and seeing life and seeing things. This could also be like on a global scale. This persona and this 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 um projection that the government has given us as children and um young adults and just generally like I feel like something is gonna be exposed or the truth about something is gonna come out and it's really gonna open your eyes to something, it's really gonna wake you up, or it has already. But beautiful energy overall, you know what I'm saying? Take what energy, whatever resonated with you, leave what don't, okay? Leave y'all comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I wish y'all peace and prosperity and blessings over y'all life. And well, I don't know why all of a sudden, but I just got so sleepy. But anyways, mm, 